I'm talking to Lucy Dimes of Alcatel Lucent, whose company has just won the best content solution here at the World Vendor Awards. Lucy, congratulations, but what does that category mean? Well, it's an important category for us because it's in the um, broader world of, of video and video is everything at the moment, as you know. Everybody's buying smartphones these days. 50% of the UK mobile device sales are now smart devices. And more and more people, consumers, you and me, um, are wanting to access all of the applications off there, not just music and not just uh, surfing and data, but, but increasingly video. So um, anything that we want to download needs to be stored somewhere because if we all have to access a central repository for content, it's going to be very slow for all of us. So part of the solution, part of the jigsaw puzzle is uh, the storage of media and content. And then obviously in the alcatel portfolio, we also have the distribution of content and we also have obviously transport and connectivity as well. So it's an important part of the jigsaw for us. So you're facing all the issues head on, and let's face it, that demand is only going to grow and grow. Can we keep up? As a country, as a globe, um, that's a challenge, I think, for operators that we are trying to help them solve. Um, you know, 7 billion people in the world and 6.6 .6 billion um, mobile devices. So that's a challenge, obviously, a lot without um, one, so many with several. Um, and more and more machines talking to each other. I think uh, I heard a statistic of 100 million different machine-to-machine -machine, um, device communications going on. So I think everybody knows the story of the sort of massive scale of growth and the massive appetite of our end users to have you know, access to content and access to, to um, you know, any application that's out there. And the key is um, solutions and, and innovation that um, takes us at the absolute limit of physics. And uh, you know, Alcatel Lucent has been at the forefront of, of innovating. You know, we have seven Nobel physics prize, prizes in the company, um, the most recent one, 2009. So we're not talking you know, ancient history. So the, you know, the companies that are going to win, that are going to help the operators deal with this challenge of increasing bandwidth are going to be those that are absolutely at the forefront of innovation. Yes, and of course, it's not just about the company, it's about the people that make the company up. You have to be very proud for the, for the, for the workers who have made this possible. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, it's a tough industry, it's, a ch it's challenging times. And, um, you know, we have absolutely, as a company, focused our, our um, culture, I think, internally, as well as our spend, on the, what we think is a critical success factor, which is the people who do the innovating which is why actually I should talk about the, the winners of the Nobel Physics Prizes rather than the prizes, because it's the people that, um, that, that bring those uh, innovations to the forefront. So, so I think you know, this, is a, this is a great um, honour, it's a great an acknowledgement for the people involved in you know, lots of basic hard work that goes behind bringing a solution to market, trialling it, working with customers, etc., in a space where quite often you're, you're the first and you, you're not relying on learning from others. So, um, you know, these awards are important from that point of view, just, just for that appreciation. Well, let's hope they can keep you ahead of the curve and uh, congratulations again. Thank you very much. Thank you.